Good evening, everyone. It is the next day, and we've got some beautiful weather today. Lots of clouds, lots of storms in the area, but this particular area has stayed dry, which is my favorite recipe for snake hunting in West Texas. So we're going to be getting after it here shortly. It feels really good out here. So without further ado, we're going to start walking, wait for it to get dark, and uh, if we see anything, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to have the GoPro running, so hopefully we'll be able to capture some stuff on there tonight. A lap. A lap? Yep. He's not bad. Well, there is our first snake of the night. A nice little mottled rock rattlesnake I spotted crawling through some rocks at the base of the hill here. Not nearly as pretty as they can be. And pretty typical for this area. Got a little bit of a, a kind of faint orange stripe on his neck, but otherwise kind of unremarkable for a lepidus. But always happy to see one of these guys to start off the night. There hasn't been much else moving, so we're thinking about moving to a different area. I think these things actually look better in the direct flashlight than they do in the video light. You can see a little bit more detail, but really nice first snake of the night. Hopefully there will be more to come, but it has been pretty slow. We've been out here for around an hour and a half now, and this is our first snake, so not a good sign that there's going to be a lot of snake movement tonight, but hopefully there will be at least some. So we're going to let this guy go and get back to it, but nice mottled rock rattlesnake is our first find of the night. There he goes. Back into the rock pile from whence he came. Nice. Got a nice black tail. Look at this guy. All right, well, our next snake of the night is a nice black tail pancaked up right here. He spooked a little bit just then. We don't want to disturb him too much, so I'm just going to back off. This guy is pretty big, but he's definitely a little bit on the skinny side, so we're just going to let him continue hunting. And keep shining, see what else we can turn up. Cuculata, nice. Good stuff. Well, there we go. That is a nice Trans Pecos black headed snake. Plaster to the cut. Pretty big one, too. Really cool. That is a really good find. We got two videos in a row with Cuculata now. Awesome. What a cool NC2, too. Well, it's really cool to get to see one of these guys doing their thing in habitat. The last one we found in the last episode was actually on the road. But this guy is just chilling out, hunting centipedes on this rock cut. Really, really cool. Good looking snake, too. A little bit smaller than the last one, but still... Very impressively sized Tantilla. But we're just gonna leave this guy to his business. We photographed the last one, so no need to photograph this guy. And we're gonna keep on shining. But it seems like snakes are out in decent numbers tonight, but we're having to work for him. So we're gonna get back to it. Beautiful Transpecos black-headed snake. Second one of the summer.
Hey, there's a nice Baird's rat. Very nice. All right, well, here's a nice adult Baird's rat snake. Not a full-grown adult, maybe a sub-adult. Might not be the right word to use, but <laughs> not a baby. It's still not quite a fully grown adult. You can see a little bit of his juvenile pattern still coming through. This guy's got some really nice pink undertones. These are one of the more uncooperative snakes, so it's very, very likely we're not gonna be able to get him to sit still for any extended period of time, but really nice looking bear rat. And our second of the season so far. But we're probably gonna be seeing plenty more of these. The only way you can ever get these things to sit still when they're this size is holding them. So we're probably just gonna let this guy keep crawling, but nice sub-adult, small adult bear giraffe. They get about four feet long. That's how big the normal adults I see are. Three and a half, four feet. So a little bit smaller than your average gray rat. Shaping up to be a pretty decent night. So we're just gonna let this guy keep crawling and keep on shining. See if there's anything else out. It's around midnight right now. So we've got another couple hours before it starts getting too late. So we're gonna get back to it. Uh, there it is. Steven just spotted this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But we got our first Alterna of the year. Oh, yeah. So it took a fat minute, but finally, here is the holy grail of West Texas herping. The gray bandy king snake that Steven just spotted. As we got out of the car, I said, you can have the cut and find the Alterna. And sure enough, he did exactly that and found this little guy. <laughs> what an awesome little snake. This is absolutely one of my favorite snakes in the US. And it is absolutely worth every minute of losing your mind shining cuts to find one of these beauties. So awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what we came out here to see. The Gray Banded King Snake, a beautiful individual that Steven spotted, and one of my favorite snakes in the whole wide world. The variation in these snakes is just absolutely unbeatable, and the amount of work that it takes to just turn up one of these is super rewarding when it finally happens. You get to see those beautiful colors, that amazing pattern, just plastered to a rock wall. There's very few better feelings in the world from my experience. What a fantastically derpy and beautiful and just elusive, awesome snake. The Gray Banded King Snake. Hopefully, and emphasis on hopefully, this will not be our only Alterna of the season because I say that about everything we've found so far this trip, but with this, it's entirely possible. These snakes, it isn't uncommon to go years between seeing one. And in fact, this is the first one I've seen in two years because I didn't get to spend too much time out here last year. So I think the, the last one I had seen was probably in 2020. I only got out here a couple of weeks last year. We found a fresh DOR that was still moving and that was it. But tonight has definitely ended up being incredibly well-rounded. We saw pretty much all of the big things that we normally expect to see in addition to a lot of other cool stuff. Beautiful Baird's Rat, nice Cuculata, nice Lepidus. Just a really great night all around and definitely the best one we've had so far this season. So we're probably gonna be ending the night on this note. What a fantastic snake to be our first Alterna of the year. And like I said, we're just gonna really hope this isn't the last. We're gonna take some photos of this beautiful snake and continue with our night, but fantastic looking gray banded king snake. Size comparison, this is a young gray banded king snake. They get quite a bit bigger than that, but this is the size that we typically see out here so absolutely, utterly amazing. This is actually the first one we have found on this particular rock cut. We've seen a bunch in this general area, but really, really cool to finally get to see one at this spot that we've been coming to for years. Super rewarding and uh, a fantastic way to end. One of the better nights that I've had this year of herping, so. But it is starting to get fairly late, so this might end up being the last snake we see today, but I am perfectly okay with that. There is nothing I would rather it be.
All right, just after the Alterna, we have a very nice looking blacktail right here, coiled up in ambush in a really cool spot. We're not gonna mess with that guy, just gonna leave him right there, but that is a really sharp looking snake nonetheless, our second blacktail of the night. We are having ourselves a good one out here. So just gonna leave that guy right there and keep on walking. It's getting pretty late at night, but it seems like there's plenty of stuff out, so we'll probably keep at it a little bit longer. Really nice looking black tail. Oh, yeah. The prophecy is coming true. Whoa, he freaked out. Copperhead right there. <laughs> I told Steven I was gonna find a copperhead and he was gonna find an alterna. And sure enough, that exact thing happened. Now Sophia just has to find her milk snake and everything <laughs> will have come true. Well, that is a very cool snake. Our first Transpecos copperhead of the year and our first alterna of the year here within a couple minutes of each other. Can you not chase me, brother? Copperheads be chasing, y'all know. Okay. <laughs> what a cool looking snake though. As Steven said, we are having ourselves a night all of a sudden here at 2 a.m. But we're gonna get some quick photos of this guy and let him get back to it, but really cool. He was sitting coiled up perfectly when I first spotted him, but these guys get real flighty and it's hard to get good NC2 of them just cause they're flighty, but really good looking snake nonetheless. And one of my local favorites to see here in West Texas. Looks a lot like a regular broadbanded copperhead, but there's nothing wrong with that. Really, really pretty snake and something I'm more than happy to see, so. All right, here's one more look at this copperhead before we let him go. Pretty typical looking Transpecos copperhead leaning a little bit in the broadband direction, which is what they are according to the current taxonomy. Boo. Boo. <laughs> well, we were on our way home and we found this guy. This is a nice big Great Plains rat. Super fat, super healthy. We thought it was a uh, desert king. What a great way to end the night. We're just gonna make sure this guy gets off the road safely, but a fantastic looking Great Plains rat snake as probably our last snake of the night. There's never any guarantee out here because you can find snakes in town. So we're just gonna let him crawl off the road and probably call it a night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, unless we see something else on the road on the way home, that is probably gonna be a wrap on the herping tonight. Definitely the best night of the year so far. We got a lot of the cool stuff that we saw in the first episode, but a nice little alterna cherry on top of all of it. But yeah, definitely the best night of the trip so far. Hoping for many more good nights in the future. We've still got a lot of time ahead of us and a lot of good weather coming up in the next week or so, hopefully. So probably going to wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.